Hello people. I'm leaving Seoul. I had so much fun here. Today I'll be leaving Seoul for Incheon and I'll stay there for like two more days before I'll return to Belgium. I'll first go to Amsterdam and I'll be staying there for a day. I'll be arriving at 7 a.m. and when I get through customs it will be like 8 a.m. Do like a little tour there and I'll catch a train from Schiphol, Amsterdam International, gets Italis train to Antwerp City. And that's where my vacation ends. It is the perfect place to end my soul trip here. I have to leave my hotel by 11. It's now about a quarter past 10. My hotel is over there. A building over there, that's my hotel. I don't have much time anymore before I have to check out. The owner, Mr. Park, will drive me to Seoul Station with his car. He also picked me up when I arrived here. And that's really cool of him to do that. So thank you, Mr. Park. The suitcase is very heavy, so I didn't really like to get a bus down there. But yeah, I'm gonna miss this place so bad. If you wanna check out this place, it is Comfort. That's where this place is. It is beautiful here in autumn if you want to visit Korea in the autumn. The temperature is nice, except the evenings. They're cold. So don't bring a winter jacket because I brought a winter jacket and it was a bit too warm for me. But the evenings were kind of cold, even with a hoodie, so I suggest bring a fleece or something. Last time at the Itaewon class restaurant here. Take a last look at these trees. I'm gonna be so depressed when I'm home. Oh my gosh. You guys get that feeling after vacation, you come back home and you're like, you don't know what to do. Because I've been busy for like almost three weeks now. Every day walking a lot, I have to calculate it, but I think the average number of steps that I've got was around 22,000 with peaks up to 37,000 steps or 27 kilometers. And that is definitely a lot. And then you come home and all of a sudden there is nothing to do, nothing to see. Well, I guess Antwerp has its charms, but I'm already sick of Antwerp. I want to travel the world. I really do, but my job doesn't allow it to. For those that have been watching these video series, thank you so much. And I do hope that you enjoy my experiences. As you know, I'm quite introvert. And I don't really like to interact with strangers and uh, coming to strange country like that was a big step outside of my comfort zone. I have no regrets at all. I was really anxious about coming here, but it turned out to be a very good experience. If you're someone like me, I can only say if you are planning a trip, just go for it. Interesting, Minerva School City Campus. Minerva is a figure that is very popular in Antwerp. I don't know if it has something to do with it, but it is interesting nonetheless. I also want to show you something. This place over here, you can get some ice cream here, and there's no one here. You stay the things you want and pay here. I don't know if I'm gonna leave just yet. So I'm checking out now, within 20 minutes or something. Uh, Mr. Park is gonna drive me to Seoul Station. I can't go to Incheon yet because my check-in is at 1500 hours and I think the trip is about two hours. So if I leave at 11 a.m., I would arrive at 1 a.m. and that would make me two hours too early, which would leave me stranded there for two hours with my suitcase and I don't really like that. I think I'm gonna just rent a locker here at Seoul Station and do one more thing here in Seoul before I leave. 
I really maxed out my weight on the suitcase and the bags before I came here. But I noticed that they never weighed my backpack on the airport. So even though I was only allowed 12 kilograms in there, they never weighed it. So I guess it's okay to put a little bit more in there. Last few here. There you go. Check out now. So guess where I am? I came to Namzan Tower one last time. I had obviously dropped my luggage off at Seoul Station and go ahead and do Namzan Tower one last time before I leave for Incheon. I don't have a lot of time. It's already half past 12. I haven't had lunch yet. So I'm gonna make this quick. I'm not going up the tower anymore because we really don't have time for that. But I really wanted to come here because of the souvenir shop. I could have gone to Insadong, but although Insadong is a very beautiful street, I found that Nanzan Tower is so iconic that it was fitting for me to close off Seoul by visiting Nanzan Tower. And I almost forgot that this is a real tough climb. I took the bus up here. I didn't hike up here like last time. What? There is a bus here? Oh my God. Could have taken the bus. Wow. Let's go around quickly, get a last look at the city. So, Ansan here, we did that one. In Wangsan, we did that one as well. And Buk Ansan, we didn't do. But we may do that one later. Who knows? Right, the trees are very beautiful right now. When I came here two weeks ago, they were still almost green. But now the colors really came through. You know this place. The log bridge. These locks are all too recent, so I'm guessing they take them off sometimes to make room for new locks. Because of course, this place gets thousands of visitors a day. So this is the souvenir shop. I will go here a little bit later. These are lock trees. So over there is Lotte Tower and behind that is Naman Sanson. And that is where I was two or three days ago. The atmosphere wasn't that clear back then, but today it looks very clear. Today is particularly crowded compared to last time I was here. It's the other part of Nansan and there's a cute mascot up here. 
and we are back at where we started. I'm gonna go quickly to the souvenir shop, get something. Anyway, I have everything I want now. Let's get back to Seoul Station. Oh, this is beautiful. that I came to see it one last time. Now I can go home with absolutely no regrets at all. I'm back at Seoul Station now and I took out my luggage right there and right now I'll be heading to Incheon. We need to take line one first, then get off at Bukpyong Station, then get on Incheon line one and then get off at Songdo Moon Line Festival Park. So that is quite a while to go, one hour and 40 minutes. So anyway, last look at Seoul. Let's go! Hello people, I've arrived in Incheon and right now at my new hotel for the next two nights, actually it's gonna be one night, but because my flight is at 1am I booked two nights, so I don't have to check out at 11am in the morning and have to carry all my luggage till nightfall, but uh, wow, the hotel, I mean the first hotel at Singil in uh, Yaoedo was cool, this Airbnb. We're gonna start with the bathroom. I have never seen one of these toilets before. It has all these options. Nice roomy shower cabin. Has a kitchen with a washer, which I haven't figured out yet. A microwave with actual dial that I can set which water a drying rack built into the kitchen. That's cool. We got Kitchen utensils, coffee, French coffee. I have my own French coffee though. Plates and pots, cookware. Look at this teapot. I think this is a rice cooker. A fridge here, stocked with water and some uh, orange juice. And the freezer has his sun quick ice cream in it. That's awesome. Thank you, Miss or Mr. Young, I think it was. So that's the bed, twin bed with a large TV and I didn't see this but you can pull it out and it becomes like a separate table. You can work right from the bed. Also have this little working area. Look at this couch. I love this lamp. I need to get myself one of these. Look. Some artwork. A little table that now has my mask and my door key, which is a card. I hate cards, but uh, what do you know? And check out this view. That is a marvelous view. The sun is currently setting. We are at the 10th floor of building A. It took me a while to figure it out where it was. Uh, over there is the station that I came from. I had to walk all the way down there on the street. Wow, it's mesmerizing. Took me a while to get here, of course. I had to take two subways. Line one from Seoul to Bupyong station and then from Bupyong to Moon Festival Park, where we are now. And I will now uh, check how I should go to the airport tomorrow because I don't know yet. yet. I don't want to carry this luggage on a bus, no way. Incheon line 1, 56 minutes. Uh, it's now 17, so golden hour is upon us. 
I'm gonna love this view of the night and the sunset. Maybe I should set up my camera here and do like a time lapse. So that was the time lapse done. I'm gonna review the time lapse. The room is kind of a mess right now because well, I was waiting for the time lapse and I had a coffee. I shot a few photographs with my camera of the bridge. Blue hours now as good as gone. What I will do is reorganize my luggage for the flight tomorrow. It's now just a quarter past six and if I can get it done before seven then I might go for some night photography otherwise it will be like just going to convenience stores get something to eat and turn in for the night watch a movie or something other than that I love this room the owner has done a really good job I don't know if the owner only has this property or has many properties but yeah it's cute I love it it's young and Yunji at Airbnb I'm going to reorganize my luggage now and I'll see you in a little while.